guys, I've got um, African clawed frogs, and I'm going to do a review of how to take care of them. First thing you need to know is you need a filter, which is not on right now, because I actually really want to trust the filter for these sometimes. You might want to, like, put a cloth over it, because my last uh, African frog, about the same size, he got sucked up and died. And I got these guys the same day, right after. And I and I haven't turned them for since one of these actually did get trapped, but it escaped. And as you can see, now we're going some algae, which we need to fix. But anyways, I think we should get some water, chlorine remover. some plants for it or you want some filter cards you want not flakes African clawed frogs you want um, something else these um, the better thing to do is feed them Blood worms, yes. Free, freeze or freeze, frozen or freeze dried blood worms. A cube of blood worms in them. It's pretty disgusting, but I mean, they love it. And they don't have teeth, so they were like, they're so quick that they just shoved in their mouth with like a claws. And they dig for things. They call the clawed frog. The way you can tell between the African clawed frog and the African door frog is that they, um, once the African clawed frog, they live 25 to 30 years. They get this big, the females get, the males get about like as big as a bolt frog. And they both get very big and they live to 25 to 30 years. As the African door frogs gets about. This big, I think that's like this big, and then yeah. Now this is only a temporary tank. I will be switching to a big fish tank, which I actually have. Just make sure you're su supplies with this stuff. So um, yeah, I take care of these. Um, mom bought it for me, but of course she didn't make me pay for it because. I'm the one that takes care of these. I'm not that person that goes, okay, you bought a frog for me, thank you. Okay, can you take care of it? Can you feed it every night? No, I feed these every night. All right, this, this is my stuff I do. And this is pretty cool. Anyways, I thought I'd just do a review of them. They're pretty cool animals. Ask me, I would get one. I've got two of them. I don't know if they're female or male. Yeah, I think they're female and male. Timmy's a male, Mason's a female. They like to sit, one likes to sit around, one's like to swim a bunch. Um, and see, and the other one that likes to sit around, he's more scared. Gets scared pretty easily, but he's still okay. Um, yeah, I really suggest getting African dwarf frogs and clawed frogs. Um, no, you can't put them in the same tank when they're young. Only when they're young, because they will eventually eat the African door frog when they're bigger. So, don't do that. Um, you can't put any fish in here, because, I mean, it's a door frog. I mean, it's a clawed frog. It will... It will get big and it will eat anything. Maybe I might be able to put an axolotl in there, but I think that's the only other thing I can do. I don't recommend doing that. That was a better idea. Dude, there's so much that just grew in that one day. There's moss literally everywhere. There's stuff everywhere. I really suggest getting these frogs. That's the end of my review today. So, 
I hope you enjoy your African Noah Frog for watching this review. Very great animals, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.